Hi, I'm Ms. Triplett. I'm the Transition Advisor here at South Caldwell High School for CCCNTI, and I'm going to share with you how to send your CCCNTI transcript. If you have been taking CCCNTI courses through Career and College Promise, and you're applying the, to other colleges besides CCCNTI, you will want those courses to transfer to the university you're planning to attend. High school, the high school transcript is not used for transfer credit. Admissions offices will want to see grades in CCCNTI courses to help with admission decisions. Think about what grades are currently on your CCCNTI transcript to help determine when to request it. You can view your transcript in self-service. If this is your first semester in CCCNTI classes, then you have no grades yet, so the transcript is blank. Always follow up with requesting a final CCCNTI transcript after you have graduated so that all final college grades, including the spring grades, are on the transcript and sent to the college or university you decide to attend. There are two options for sending your transcript. We have the transcript request form, that's a paper copy or PDF online, or through your self-service account. The first option is the transcript request form. Here's the link to the PDF. You can also just go to the website, cccti.edu, type in the word transcript into the search box, and you'll find the um, link there. You will be submitting this through your CCCNTI email to Connie Wilson. She handles all the transcripts. You want to make sure that you list your college ID number on this form and not your lunch number. Any questions you might have about whether it's been sent yet or not need to be directed to Connie Wilson or Student Services. The number for Connie Wilson is listed here and for Student Services it's listed as well. Another way to view your grades and send a transcript is through self-service. So this is how you would log in. Here's the link to self-service. You can also go through your My CCCTI portal page. Your username is just the beginning of the email address. It's not the full email address. So it's, it's just like logging into Moodle, but it's not an email address. Once you're logged in, you're gonna click on the graduation cap with academics and you're gonna have some choices. If you just wanna look at your grades to see if you have any on the transcript, you're gonna click grades and then you will um, click the, the buttons to open up each semester to view the grades by term. If you want to fit, submit a transcript request, you'll click transcript requ request. You will click add new request and complete the form. These are some of the questions. You wanna make sure you are requesting a curriculum transcript. The recipient could be the university name. It could be yourself if you wanna pick up the transcript yourself. You can put how many copies you want, special handling. If you would be requesting your transcript, let's say at the beginning of the December and the grades are not final in, for your college grades yet, you could click um, hold until final grades are available, but most of the time you're wanting to go ahead and um, request the transcript and so you'll leave that part blank. Comments could be things like I will pick up myself or you could probably um, put other special comments there or directions for records there. If you need any help, just come see me at school or send me an email. Good luck.